to Netflix Dispute Low Show. We are here again for another video, our second video. Before we get into it though, the first thing I need to do is thank everybody that has given this video a watch. In the two weeks it's been up, we have had over 1,000 views, which is absolutely insane. So thank you guys so, so much for getting involved. And as well, the comments on the video, 65 people have commented on this video and it's great to get that interaction. I know I've logged in to try and reply to people as well. And you know, I'm sure the other guys have as well. Yeah. Obviously there's still some debate about the team, but we're going to leave it in last week's episode. No, we, we can't. Cause no, no, we're not. We're not leaving it. Why? Cause we said we would check the comments and see who the winner was. <sighs> Go on, and I've done, I've, the I've, comments? I've done the maths about an hour ago. And of the 65 comments, we had 21 people vote for a side. Six mm -hmm. of them voted for someone else, not Plymouth, not Sambadoria. Yeah, yeah. Five Sampdoria, of them yeah. were Plymouth, and ten of them were Sampdoria. Sampdoria, yeah. So, Sampdoria. Sampdoria, <laughs> lightweight, is the winner. <laughs> Sampdoria, mate. This is how Donald Trump yeah. feels. Hey. These fixed right. votes. Yeah, can we... Uh, <laughs> is the postal vote coming? Is the, uh, I've got a couple of people voting. Stopping, <laughs> all yeah, counting right. now. All counting right. now. Stop. Fair enough, look. I'm still not just say, not, not one single mention of QPR in any comments across <laughs> any bit of social media that we posted that video. So, I am not, do a bit better I'm sorry, week. Stephen. I'm sorry, mate. So you played it, you played it on card, but I'm sorry, mate. QPR was never going to win that. I you should, played your old. You I played was actually old going, interview. I should have put Derry Silly forward because they're one of the original numbers, 009. They're a multiple team. So I've Stop my hand. I messed up my hand. You can edit that out. Can edit that out. <laughs> can I just ask really, really quickly, just really, really quickly before we go on, this 009 thing, why do we not just call it Ref 9? Why is it because it's a lightweight? Why is it 009 and not just 9? I don't know. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I just, I just wanted to call it 009. <laughs> That's the end of that then. That's the end of that. So, Let's get on with it then, guys. So, as I said, thank you guys so, so much for watching and obviously listening on the podcast as well. I know I've listened to us, boys. That's really sad, but I have. Um, and I really enjoyed it, even though I knew what was coming. So, yeah, hopefully, agreed. you guys can keep watching it. Remember, we are on Spotify. We are on Anchor. We are on Apple as well now and a few others. So, any of your, any of your podcast providers, just search us up. Put the Spookio Show in. It should come up if you've got a decent podcast provider. If your podcast provider is rubbish, unlucky. Get a good one. This week, then, we are talking Subutio balls. So we have been asking you guys to send us some suggestions for your favourite Subutio balls. Now, I set rules on mine, um, and I'm hoping that the other guys did as well, that it had to be a Subutio manufactured ball. Similarly, as we did with the teams had to be Subutio manufactured, the balls did as well. I'm going to choose Stuart to go first this week. because oh. you, you went last last week, mate. This so is you're true. Up. This is true. So... I put, two, I put two separate posts out on Facebook and Twitter for the sexiest ball and also for the most playable ball. And I don't play a lot, so I'll probably not have much experience with the playable ball. But I'll take you through what people have said and then I will justify to you my opinions. So, good flicking. Dave Scholes, Carwin, Daniel Burford, all said tango. And, it's, and that's going to be a big theme, I think, for all of us. I think we're going to hear Adidas Tango a lot throughout of it. They also have different and colours. The, yeah, but... the issue, yeah, I was going to say, you've got the different colours. That yeah, so to, to be different. honest, quite a few people said white, as opposed, because it's just Wait, that classic please. look. But yeah, there was a few. Actually, soccer got in touch and said the Premier League balls. So the Premier League Miters. It's a nice looking ball, in fairness. Uh, Sputio Brummy said again, the Mite which, Deltas. Which colour? This is the issue you've got with that. Oh, they're all classic. Got, the Mite, the, 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 colours, the classic Mite Delta. I'll, 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 I'll throw it out there, the, na the navy with the red. So, yeah, so that's the delta, isn't it? It's the red. Well, they, they were all the deltas, the Premier League ones, but yeah. No, the Premier colors, League ones were more Ultramax, I think, the Premier League ones, weren't they? Uh, mine just says uh, Mitre Premier League. I think they were Ultramax based on, I think. Yeah. They've been they, mentioned. I'll take, your word, I'll take your word for it, mate, because let's be honest, it's lightweight footballs. I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> Finch Hero said the sponge balls. <laughs> Which uh, the sponger? Jesus! I like what, was the like that. what was the justification with for the sponger? What? It, it wasn't so much a justification. It was just the fun they had as a kid. It was Fair simply like that. Said, that was simply like it. I was saying to you earlier on. I've got a sponger here, by the way. 
little sponge there. What's happened to it? Looks like someone's taken a bite out of it. Oh, they have. Yeah, a little bit there. That's probably because <laughs> that's, that's probably because we used it to play big league with. Um, so that so might be because of that. Of someone's getting a chunk out of it. But yeah, as a Cebuto ball, they're absolutely shocking. I'm I not bet they're fun. So Cole Robson said the Deodoria Samba balls. It's a very nice looking ball. Very nice. Samba is tidy, yeah. Gaz Slinger yeah, also. I have that. I have that. Nice ball. Gaz Slinger said the Tangos again, the Premier balls, but his favourite overall was the Italian 90 ball. Proper ball. Mm-hmm. Jason Wilson said the Arriva ball. Is that how you say it? Arriva? The Arriva, it yeah, yeah, the of, It just makes me think of a bus. Yeah, I understand does that. It, yeah, does anyone know? Because yeah. I, I looked it up earlier. Does anyone know who this company is? It's, it's obviously a, a sportswear firm. Yeah, who? What do they do? Do they make kits? Did they make kits? Who are they? I don't know, but when I Googled it, literally a minute ago, for the thumbnail, I found it really hard to find a picture of them as well. <laughs> They're obviously not... There's maybe just I not Googled. that many. Like, you put in any other balls... You put in Subutio Reva balls and you don't get that many results. So I the Reva balls you. were actually the first Subutio balls to have sort of advertising for another firm on them. So introduced in the early 80s, the first ones to have the sort of advertising logo. I don't know who, who they are, they? but I know that. I looked up Reva Sportswear, I looked up Reva Footballs and I couldn't find naff on them. I have no idea right. who they are. Someone out there must know. Let us know down in the comments. Someone must know. Yeah, definitely. Someone will be able to inform us there. Someone has to know about that. So that it's was my suggestion. That no one Gone. It was. Isn't it? So that was my suggestions for the best looking ball, the sexiest ball. Then I got my suggestions for the most playable ball. So Richard Greenfeld said the tango. <laughs> Milo CW5 said the orange tango. Dermot O'Brien said the Deodoria Samba. And then the I had a few people. I love the way I love your Deodora. <laughs> what did that say, Deodoria? What did that say? Yeah, he said Deodoria. <laughs> Deodoria. <laughs> I can say Deodora. that one right, Deodora. We'll live with that though, Deodora. Deodora. <laughs> I had a few people then chip in saying top spin, Pegasus balls, blah blah blah. Mm. But as we know, they're not they're not so beautiful. Uh, Ralph on Facebook come in and then said the eighteen millimeter, and then I had a bit of a flurry from people saying eighteen millimeter. UT, your bow, said the 18 millimeter ball. Mm-hmm. Um, Tony Mott said the way. tango. Dan Luck said the tango. And then someone else said the tango as well. So, it's for playability-wise, from me, going on the votes, it's out of the 18 millimeter ball, the original, FFs, what was it, yeah. set FF? Is it FF? FFs, yeah. To go with the NN goals, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. So, it's either that or the tango. And I did a little bit of research, a little bit of reading, and a lot of the tournament players back in the 80s used to like playing with tangos. Yeah. So, playability, I'm going to give it to set NN, not NN, FF. FF. Okay. Just because yeah. if you can play with them balls, they're so hard to play with. If you can play with them, you're a good Subutio player. Nice. Look, look how happy Callum is that I've said something old, look. Yeah. <laughs> He's so pleased with himself. I love the FF is the best ball. I mean, I'll come to me in a minute, but yeah. But okay, so probability you put in the FF ball. But it's boring to look at, isn't it? No. It's just brown. That's boring. It's just brown. Boring. So then, not, whoa, whoa, so whoa, then whoa, we whoa, come not to... Brown. It's not brown, brother. Let's what colour was that? Eight. Is okay. it orange? Is it orange? I've got orange ones, white ones, brown ones. Got them all they all look brown apart from the white one. I'll, I'll talk about them anyway. I'll let you carry on. <laughs> you carry on. So then it comes to sexiest ball, mm-hmm. which we all know, for me, looks is a lot more over than playability. And you all know what I'm going to say because I've told you all already. And we might as well just end the video now because the best we'll looking all, we'll pretend, ball... We'll all pretend to be shocked, mate, when you say it. We'll all really? The best yeah. looking ball is the Italian 90 ball. Ooh. That, look at it. But, I wasn't expecting you to say but, that, mate. But, but, I've got one drawback about it. Do you mm. remember back in 1990 when Coca-Cola released some little mini skill balls? Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine if Subutio made that, that design mm. on that, how pucker would that look? Yeah, that is the one down. thing letting it down. That they, <laughs> well, that's it. That's the one thing letting it down. <laughs> that it didn't look like the skill ball. The little green and red one. With the red, the yeah, red yeah. bit and the thing, but just going back to yeah, this, look, yeah, yeah. look at the details. I don't know you, if you can actually see it. The detail on Chow, so have the mascot there, and also the shadow on the ball emblem. Mm-hmm. It's just the detail on it's class. If it weren't for that ball, you wouldn't have the Euro '96 ball. You wouldn't have the USA '94 ball. That ball released a whole new generation of persons playing Subutio, including me. If it weren't for Italian '90, I probably wouldn't be playing Subutio. I probably wouldn't be collecting it now. 
That's why uh, the Italian agree, ninety ball. Agree. Italian ninety ball. Tend to agree is with that. The best ball. You agree on it on what front, boys? That it, it's the best be ball. That's it. it not Thank you very time. much for joining well, us this week. We're glad we're so. <laughs> <laughs> Nice it's short one for it's you. One of the best of balls. <laughs> okay, it is. That's it great. is nice. It is nice. So you've got you've put forward the FF for playability and the Italian ninety for looks. Yeah, but overall Italian ninety. That's not what we asked for. It was just two. It's got to be overall. Right? We need an overall hey, winner. Well, hey, hey, who's hosting this week? Who's making the rules? <laughs> who's making the rules? Here? It's me, isn't it? It's me down in the bottom left. It's me down. Daddy, here uh, the so close that box. How would you close it? <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. Look. I like it. So that's some good shouts in there. Some good shouts in there. I like that. I like that. Let's go on then. Let's have yours then, Watsy. Well, first of all, I have basically everybody on Reddit not put forward has come up with a tangle. Um, Superior Legends, uh, he's went with the orange tangle. He says, mm-hmm. but he thinks he thinks the white one's better. He doesn't have one for a photo. So he sent me a photo of an orange tangle. Uh, okay. Gareth Kriske. Christy Flixer Kicks also mm-hmm. said that uh, Theodora. 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 <laughs> Theodora. Theodora Samba um, mm-hmm. was the best looking ball, but he's also said that the Italian 8D was the best ball to play with and the top spin ball, but we're not putting top spin in. Um, finger flicking good. Who you, I think everybody done the podcast on him, didn't they, during the week? Or last yeah, week? Looking forward to hearing yeah, this. Yeah. Derek, isn't it, Derek? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, Stu. I slagged you off a little bit, mate. I didn't, I didn't know you said it, didn't it? You yeah, said it, sorry, didn't yeah. it? That's it, then. I'm not <laughs> going to be in it. it. I'm not going to be in it. <laughs> He's put forward the white tangle. Um, mm-hmm. The ginger prince. The fluorescent tangle. I know his photo showed up as yellow today, but it's... Yeah, the did you see the picture he put on of that? The alicanza. Yeah. He put on Alicante. a picture of it and it looked yellow. It didn't look like it had that fluorescent. It looked like that sort of colour. It looked yeah, have, standard I have yellow. I've seen some of those before. I think I'm not 100 sure where they're for, but I have seen some of those sort of more yellowy looking ones before. I don't have one, so I can't. Okay, yeah, um, so tango, tango, and tango. Yeah. Toffee, toffee art has put forward a collection of balls he's making, decal balls. So mm-hmm. he just yeah. basically likes Which, basically way, anything let's that's just, and let's just come on to him. Those <clears throat> balls are absolutely mustard, by the way. I know we shouldn't really talk about them, but I can't let that go without giving him some props. Those decaled balls are phenomenal. They are, are so good to look at. David so Thornley sure, as well. I'll make sure there's a picture of yeah, him coming Thornley, up for everyone yeah, yeah, to see now. Well. I'll make sure there's David a picture. brilliant. David. Do they, uh, how do they play? Uh, how do they play with decals on? I can imagine they're not roll. Well, oh. apparently they're quite good. I am actually getting some done for... Um, Westwood Table Soccer so I will be able to let you know at some point in the future because I'm getting some made up um, some I'm not going to tell you what design they are until I get to my turn but yeah I'm getting some designed up and they're going to be decal but people like them because they lack a they lack a Ramon as well so the decals make them nice and round oh nice, mm, nice. there you go but all right again it's, <laughs> it's a decal ball oh, but it rolls oh, perfect and I don't know how it works how do they see put that, a layer of someone on see look see that's that got so much decal on that's brilliant. That it's a shameless self promotion now. Yeah, it is. See that <laughs> ball to play with? It's unreal. But how does, I don't understand how they roll flat because they've obviously got something on them. Decal, well, the thing is, the decals, they're so thick. Once you use the decal to slip on them, they're so thin, aren't they? Like, they're so thin that it doesn't add a lot, I don't think. It's not like back in the day with these little bad boys where they actually had to put the actual stickers <laughs> on. <laughs> a full sticker. That don't. <laughs> That don't roll straight at all. My baby <laughs> might roll here. Let me just turn this off a minute. Um, but yeah, so it's not like those. Like the decals now are, are very, very good. But yeah, no, he's good. And like, like um, Stephen said, Dave um, Thornley again is another one who makes yeah. lovely, lovely balls. He's done a, a World Cup display, which is just absolutely unbelievable. Every yeah. every ball from the World Cup since about nineteen seventies. That looks fantastic. It's about one hundred and fifty quid or something. But, Dave's you know. balls, yeah. Mm. I've I've, I've, I've I've literally fucking tons and tons of decal balls. It just every time, or you 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 be watching a match and you go, "Fuck, I want that ball," and you just text Staffius or a D or anything, guys, mm-hmm. and you have a ball with an adult. It's just I think they're great for collecting, but obviously it's not part of the show. It's not getting the the draw. As we we'll just we'll just edit that out actually. <laughs> <you know? laughs> so. 
For me, I know I know everybody's gonna say best look or what do we go best playable ball? Yeah, playability and um yeah look. They, well I'm gonna put forward the oh. USA ninety four. For what for looks or playability? Playability. Oh okay. Mm. Huh. Nice you know what? Just nice and plain, nice and simple. Um roll really well. Um, we normally have a couple in the club. We normally just use if you use them decal balls for games or competitions, you end up sometimes losing the decal off it. So them balls just seem to not lose paint. You work, play a fucking whole load of competitions with them. Um, great for shooting with, great for chipping. Um, so for me, USN eighty four is my best playing ball. Okay. Um, yeah. in terms of best looking ball. This takes takes me sort of like what you said, Stuart, about uh, nineteen ninety, the World Cup nineteen ninety. Yeah. For me, ten years old, heading into town during the World Cup, getting stuff out of the toy shop from like a team and maybe a fence or a subs bench, but coming home with a set of tangles was just the best thing ever. So you build that up, and like you was going to say, a reveal. It's Italian, aren't they? You I'm thought, gutted. Yeah, you, nah, I'm nah, devastated. I'm going to go with you there, didn't he? And just, <laughs> did, just going home. And, <laughs> and almost, I think there was times we used to get, say, say you got a new washing machine or a new cooker or something at the house, and you got the polystyrene, you got the table out, and you rub the polystyrene over the pitch so it looked like it snowed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just, just to use that orange tango. <laughs> Excellent. So that's, to me, to me, the orange tango, those little... Fake plastic man on the boat and fake plastic snow. Can't beat it. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So you're putting the, the orange tango. So you've got the orange tango in the USA 94. I haven't got an Italia 90 on me, actually, Stu. So I apologise for that, mate. Oh. And then we've got the other. Does that mean you're going you're gonna to rig it? I'm not up to me to decide you, who wins this fight, mate. Are you going to get all fired on on this and rig the election? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You don't know who's... No polit no political affiliations with anyone on this, by the way. Nah, but <laughs> throw that out there. Right. <laughs> no political comments. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, that's cool. I like it. Oh, the big reveal. What I loved mostly about that, Watsy, was how you were bigging it up like the Italian nineties. Stuart's getting more and more excited that he's gonna have a little <laughs> double up here. And then uh <laughs> Out of absolutely nowhere, he just throws in the orange tank. <laughs> absolutely killed him. I love it. Right. 90, <laughs> 90 was the year for Shibuto, for me. Yeah. See, I was in, yeah, see, I was only one, so it wasn't for me, I'm afraid, everyone. <laughs> you were but, yet, but yet you're obsessed with heavyweights. <laughs> Oh, I can, yeah, I can go through that in another show. Look, we're not going to talk about that now. There's a whole load of reason behind it. And I go through it, actually. I'm, I'm not plugging, but on my channel, I do talk about it in my latest series. So if you want to know why I love heavyweights, it's on there. Right, as I'm the host, I'm going to go last. The same as Stu did last week. So, Stephen, come on then. Because I'm guaranteed, right, spoiler alert, we should probably timestamp this in the description. If you want to avoid all of Stephen's parameters as to why he picks and just get to why he's picking, <laughs> just go into the description now and have a little look. If you want to know, stick around, Stephen. Yeah, please, shoot. please do stick around I, for him, though. <laughs> I don't, I don't have any parameters this time because I'm not going to lie. You all hit my feelings last time, so I come with a popular <laughs> vote. <laughs> no, um, I mean some of the ones recommended to me are very similar to the ones recommended to everyone else. I've got the list here, loads and loads of tangos, um, a surprising number of mitre, nineties mitre balls, which is great because that's the sort of sweetio I love. Um, so yeah, Neil, nineties mitre. Um, Adrian Hollands has sent the most horrific picture of half an orange Adidas Tango and half of a yeah, yeah. oh. I quite liked it. <laughs> I've wanted it actually. Yeah. Shock. <laughs> um, tango Alicante, lots more tangos, um, loads of decals, as everyone else has said. Um, nothing particularly new or interesting. Now, someone did mention the FIFA balls, actually. The, uh, the red, green, and blue. And blue. Mexican. Yeah. Um, balls, which I actually do quite like. Um, I don't know what, like they are. What, are they, what are they called? They're either called FIFA balls or competition balls, aren't they? They're competition balls, sorry. The FIFA ones are the um, not filled in shapes. Because I call them FIFA balls, but then someone corrected yeah. me the other week saying they're competition balls. And then my choice is a nice simple one to play with, which is the 90s Mitre. Okay. You were saying that's playability, yeah? 
yeah, I, like, I quite like them. They're, they're pretty smooth to play with, but they do have a little wobble in them. And I think that just adds to the drama of Sabizium. Yeah. So the, I, I, I like that. The, I thing like I, that. I, the thing I don't like about the modern sort of table football game, and I do quite enjoy it as a separate sort of thing, is it's too slick. It's too, you know, you're from one end of the pitch to the other in two flicks. Everything is sort of pinpoint accuracy. And I, I like a bit of chaos when I'm playing my um, table football. So a ball with a little wobble is, is quite nice. Um, okay. And then in terms of looks, I've gone with the tango. Um, gone with the orange tango just because that is I think the quintessential Sabutio ball I mean if it's it's at the point now where I think if you actually google the orange tango Sabutio is most of the top search results just because yeah, it's so right. associated with the game now mm-hmm. that it's probably um, you know, more associated with Sabutio than actual football at this point which I just think is incredible um, I did have a few that I sort of discarded and I think I want to mention the Euro 96 ball um, mm-hmm. I've got one here, actually. Let me just pick that out. So the Euro 96 ball is pretty rubbish. Okay. It's just white with the Euro 96 on and a tiny logo that could just be a smudge. But it's interesting because it's not actually the ball that Sabutio was originally going to release for Euro 96. The oh, catalogs yes, in 95... Yes. I love this already. I love this already. Go. <laughs> so the catalogs in 95 actually had a much better Euro 96 yeah. ball. It had full-size logos. It had patterns all around it. It looked absolutely fantastic. Um, and I think, and here's one of my criteria, I think that's historically important because I think that is the exact moment that Sabutio completely lost the plot and lost its way. It, it made that brilliant one, put it in the catalogue and then so, sort of half-assed so it. To, do, you recommend, do you reckon then somewhere <clears throat> there are some actual ones from the... They must have made some. They did. There's a picture. I'm sure I've seen a picture of it on Peter Upton's website before. I'm just looking for it now. It's in like his oddities page or something like that. It's on the calendar, it's, so there must have been a photo shoot. Somebody must have one. Mm. And not, maybe they don't even know. Maybe they've got one. They've got no idea how special that ball is. And they've got one. And I, like, because everyone knows I, that the, like the Alicante, everyone knows there's two Alicantes. There's the trefoil one and the standard Alicante. Like, everyone knows it. And the trefoil one is rare as rocking horse in comparison, even though the Alicante is harder to get hold of. But yeah, no, I had no idea there was a second, a second Euro. I 90. think as well, there's a second Italian ninety ball as well. Oh, stop it! Yeah, Sabutio Lab was selling it. <laughs> was it legit though? Like legit, legit. I believe so. I believe after uh, I'm doing this all off my my mind here, but I'm there's pretty a, there's sure. A chance with the Italian ninety that they made an Italian version. A very yeah. big chance considering there's the, that. There's the Euro ninety six ball. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. So that could have been so a winner. Never, there must, somebody must have some then. That's amazing. If you've got some, or if you know anyone who's got one of those, chuck we in your comment. And, <laughs> Send yeah, us one. One, <laughs> one each. One each. Um, and yeah, that's, that is cool. The Euro 96 ball is cool. I, I actually, I didn't have any shouts for the Euro 96, and I was actually quite surprised because it has <laughs> a simplicity about it, I think, that's actually quite nice. But right, According, according to Peter Rutz's website, yep. according to Peter Rutz's website, the picture that's on there is half of a ball. It's a prototype. So it's only half the ball. It was sent to Peter Upton in 2012 by a Paul Scratchard. So, Paul, if you're watching, yeah. get in touch. We want to see we that ball. To, um, yeah. We need to get that to half your balls. To, to stick it on the other side, <laughs> half of a tango, and see what we can make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that, cool. All right. that brings me to my, my... I mean, the first question hasn't got an answer in my ball quiz. But I was wondering what the rarest Sabutio ball is. That's probably it, to be honest. I've probably already answered it, if that exists. Um, so I had a little look, and I thought I'd get some opinions from you guys on what you think is the rarest Sabutio ball ever made. Okay, well, I would go just because I know they exist. Like, they're, like I said to you just about a minute ago, the Alicante with the, with the trefoil logo on it. Because, I've, one, I know it exists. I do have one, but mine's not great condition. Like, if it was getting graded, it's not getting a high score. Like my normal Alicante and my, all my tangos have got perfect Stuart's cheating. paint lines. Stuart's cheating. No, I'm trying to look up this other Italian 90 ball. But I'm trying to, I'm not made it up. Yeah, so, so I would say, I would say that, but obviously now that I've been blown well out of the water by the half Euro 96 ball. Well, that one would be, I think the, the half Euro 96 ball, but in terms of ones actually made, I think the Alicante, the trefoil, logo yeah, is probably one of the rarest be. but there is another one with that same logo that i think is rarer 
Okay. So in the early 2000s, Subito launched a collaboration with Adidas to launch oh, some the trainers. trainers. Yeah, of course. And they, they come with a set of three Adidas balls Yes. with the Trefoil logo on in blue. And they were only available in that limited edition run of trainers. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have no idea how much I want a pair of them trainers. I'm such a yeah. sneaker freak as well. I need I've them seen, trainers. I've seen somebody with Subito trainers. Who is someone on my Twitter feed? There's a guy who is he's got loads of them. who is going to feature in the upcoming magazine, Paul Dark, who's got the most amazing Subito yeah, earlier this week. It could be him. Yeah. And he's got a pair of them. The yeah. Yeah. But you do get so, a three pair set, a pair, pair of trainers, so that probably may not be. Is there? I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to see if I can find the old train. Ah, oh, yeah, there they are. I remember, yeah. right? I was working for Foot Locker around, around that period they come out. It was early 2000s, wasn't it? There was a part mm. of, I think there was a part of the Addy colour range. And it was before I got back into collecting again. I remember people coming in asking, have you got the Subutio trainers? And all I used to go on about is, nah, 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 nah. Look at my Panini ones. Because I had some Panini ones. Yeah, yeah. I've literally, <laughs> I've just Googled, right? I'm on no Google now. About. And I found a picture <laughs> of the Euro 90, um, the blue Trefoil ones. I've clicked it, right? And I can now see a conversation between me. you and to beat your pool, yeah. <laughs> so it started off with, I'm pretty sure Adidas only did one run of these as well. Shame. I think they would sell loads now. And then underneath is you. You probably don't know why I've always thought that. But here's my Panini Adidas. <laughs> 20 <laughs> yeah. years, I've never changed. <laughs> like, look Which at my Paninis. Actually, the logo on the bottom is messy, isn't it? Mate, they're a pucker pair of shoes. They oh, really that are. Logo, that, that logo, did you, have you worn them? Yeah, quite a few times. I kept them nice got, though. They've got, they got a little scuff. They've got a bit of wear to them. They? they do need yeah, some that, layer on them. That footballer doing the volley, that is class actually. Yeah, they're that cool. Is, I'll give you that, mate. Oh, if Subutio I, I could do that now. Well, Adidas could do that now with Subutio. They're really good. I'm still trying to find his yeah. no, if, Sub, if Subutio, if the official Subutio account done them now, they'd just be a pair of red shoes. A red yeah. shoe and a blue shoe. <laughs> With a really, a really bad generic graphic on them. Yeah, the old hologram. Just With a subutio figure on the That's set, straight in a ball. Isn't it so disappointing, though, like, on a, like how, like Stephen said there, from 1996 onwards, just how... It, I mean, I wasn't big into my lightweights, as you boys know, right? But I do have some, and I can appreciate them and how cool they actually are. They did so many designs. And they actually, you know, the designs are decent. And then they just fell apart. And at the moment, they're just, even the relaunch is rubbish, isn't it? Oh, it's so disappointing. Am, am I right in thinking that the France 98 set didn't have a dedicated France 98 ball? Stu, you got sent off no, five of them at one point, didn't you? Cause, no, no it's a tango's in it. A tango's in it. What, the last time a tango's in it. Yeah, amazing. white tango's. It was the last time a white tango was used. What was the ball at France 98? Adidas. Because the Euro, because the, Adidas looks like a purpley. The Euro, see, it was a tango, essentially. But just That's a new version, they, a different they version of it. The ones that came was it with the blue. Was it not the blue, uh, not the blue, ah, fuck the name of it. Can't remember the name of it. I can't remember. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at, I'm looking at them now and they're like a blue, they've got like a red and white sort of swishy bit going through the tango pattern. Yeah, I but had it, one, it, I bought, I bought one. In Spain, we were in holiday in Spain at that same time, and I brought one home from. I don't forget. It. Begins with begins with a T. No, did I? Uh, like a, it is Telstar one. Telstar four. Telstar is it? It's Trico four, I think. Well, that's what I can see on the top of this one. T R I C O F O R E. Telstar was the old seventies one. I used to call it the Trafuxi. It may. It could be. Take it. I just like the fact now that someone's listening to this on a podcast in their car, absolutely screaming at us for not knowing the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what the comments are for. That Shout out to that person. If, if well, you like, know the answer, get it in the comments down below because. Um, uh, what do you call him? Has one on his. How his, awesome is that? Uh, Twitter. How cool is that? Yeah, all right, mate. It's not your phone anymore. Sorry, anymore. I'll get out of my box. <laughs> the, um, the Euro 2000 ball was the Terrestra. So it might have been that one. That's another one that looks like a tango. I had that one. It was one of the first balls that had, it was like squishy. It had like a foam, a foam layer underneath the plastic. It was a cool ball, a really, really cool ball. So anyway, we've sort of massively gone tangent down to real footballs. Um, did you even finish your nomination, Stephen, by the way? Yeah, so I've got the mitre and the orange tango. 
So you put in the Talk delta, up. the delta's going in playability, yeah? And your orange yeah. tango is going in the other one. Like I said, I haven't got a um, Italian 90 ball, Stuart, so I'm going to use this just for my visual aid as your Italian 90 ball. Um, cool. So, yeah, I'm like, I haven't got one. If I could take it from you, I'll mate. hold it up for you. Give me a nod. Just give me a nod when you want it to hold up, and I'll sort of hold right. it up. <laughs> All right, mate. cool. Right, now... As you boys know, I went back at work, so I haven't, I'm not as organized as last week. Last time I had like a spreadsheet, I had everyone's name. So I'm going to be massively apologetic that I haven't actually got anyone's name to read out. I remember the suggestions, but I cannot remember who gave them to me. So apologies if you did. I will try and do better um, heading into number three. Again, like you boys, I had a load, a load of suggestions for the tango. And I, we knew that was going to happen, I think, as soon as we suggested doing balls. I think we all knew everyone's going to say tango because we're going to try and argue against it. But I guarantee you, we're going to pick the tango because secretly we all know it's the best looking ball. Like we've all tried not to pick it. haven't we? We've all tried not to. Yeah. Pick it. Well, those two boys haven't. And I don't think I'm going to either for looks a hundred percent. It's the tango. It, it's just the best looking ball. It's got the most detail on it. Really. I mean, the Delta, the Deodoria, the Deodoria Samba <laughs> has got some cool, it's got some cool design on it. Like it looks a little bit like a Mitsubishi logo, though. You know what I think? Yeah, like it does a, actually. Or a nuclear yeah. bomb. Or a nuclear bomb, yeah. <laughs> so that's a cool ball. I quite like the Arriva just because it was a bit different. It's real simple, real plain. Um, the Umbros are okay. Nobody said these, by the way, but the old yeah, cheeky Umbro. That is actually a, it's a nice little ball. I've, I mean, they came in sets of three, didn't they? And when we were younger, like, we'd get a box of balls and me and my brother would get, like, one each and my dad would get one, which is why I've got different single versions of balls. I've got a black Delta and a red Umbro. Like, the other ones, I couldn't tell you if they still exist in the old family. But, yeah, so for me, looks-wise, it's, it's going to be the Tango and I would put the Alicante in there because I just think the fluoro yellow one is unbelievable. But it could be any of them. Like, especially... So is that for looks or playability? Oh, 100%. It's not playability. Not even close. <laughs> the thing with Sofuto, right, which, which really got me, they started off with the Malteser, yeah? The massive, ridiculously heavy ball that you can't move with, you know, a lump of lead. Like, it doesn't move. It's rubbish. It was completely ineffective. Even, even with a heavy bit? <laughs> even, with a heavy, even with a weighted heavyweight, mate, you can't move it. Like, even with the bottle opener, even with the Sofuto bottle opener, you can't move that thing. It doesn't move. <laughs> Um, and then they struck gold with the FF. And then for no reason, I'm just going to say this, they then made the players lighter and the balls heavier again. Why did they do this? Does anyone know the answer to this? Why did they make the balls bigger and heavier and then make the players lighter when they struck gold with the FF? The FF is the best playable ball. A couple of reasons for it. Aesthetically, it looks more to scale. It doesn't look as ridiculous as the massive 20, like 20, that's what they, 22, fair. 25. That's a fair, fair comment. Like, the, on the pitch, it looks better. I mean, I prefer the small panel version, not the, the big panel version, which is, you've got the two paneler. I don't know if you can make that out. Actually, get me the orange one. So you've got the little orange one with the two panels, and then you've got the small panel version, which is 100% better. And if you get one that now, rolls see, straight... I had everyone well, say the two panel was better when now, they were saying see, it to the, me. This is the other thing you've got to be real careful with with the FF is you've got to get one that rolls straight. The brown ones never do. I, I've never had a brown FF that rolled straight, ever. I don't know if it's the way they glued them together or what, but they're always uneven. Like, with, like Stephen would love them because they're all over the place. <laughs> yeah. um, white ones, again, the white ones are very, very similar. The best ones I've always had, and I've had this orange one that I've got here that I play with for well into, I don't know, 20 years, 25 years. I got it off my old man. But for me, they're just the best playability ball. They, they move more realistically. The noise they make when a heavyweight player hits them as well. Oh, that noise is, is perfect. It's a solid, I can't do it because I haven't got a player with me. I should have got one. But it's a real solid sound and noise. And it just, like I say, it just looks better. It's more to scale. So for How do they chip? How do they chip? Easy. If you, I mean, yeah. if you're good, like, don't get me wrong. I know there's people that say you can't. I, mean, I personally, like chipping a lightweight, like where Lawrence said earlier, oh, these balls chip really easy. I can't do it, like, but I don't use lightweights. I think a lot of it's what you're used to. Obviously, the Hasbro's will chip anything because they're, they're low, they're flat, they're heavy, they're solid. Same with the new sort of professional, skiddy, slidey, 17-piece mm. spaces that have got about a million colours in and bits of 
unicorn dust and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all those. And of course, they, as Steven said, they're very slick. It's all straight lines. And I hate that version of the game, but I'm glad that it exists because without those people playing that game, the game, I think, would be even in a worse state than it is now because it's kept yeah. it in that. So as much as I dislike it, thank you to all those guys that started playing it in Italy and have kept the game going at that level and given it a chance. I think of that game as the, um, as the F1 of Sevilla in that they innovate and build all these amazing things and we take the best mm-hmm. of it for the sort of collection game. So some of the goals mm-hmm. that they use professionally are brilliant for old school Sevilla displays and things like that. By the way, Stephen's just like hit that. on next week's topic, by the way. Goals has got to be next week because there's, there's going to be a big argument about goals as well. A big argument about goals. What a surprise. <laughs> yeah, but... The thing is, with balls, I don't think we're going to argue that much. Like I say, I feel like we're probably going to pick, especially for looks-wise, we're going to pick the same one. Playability, I think a lot of that depends on what you've used. Because if, like, Lawrence uses them balls all the time. So for playability, he's going to say those, where I'm always going to say the FF. Obviously, we've used you. You don't play that much. So in terms of experience with balls, you don't have as much. Stephen, I don't know whether you whether you play at all or whether you played a lot. You lack experience with balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, the, I, don't know I try to that. ignore it. That's a, com- that's a compliment. <laughs> the reason why I like the wobbly ones is because I am terrible at playing. You know. Okay. So it sort of covers up some of my deficiencies Steve, as well Steven, as levels to playing pitch. I've seen one of your uh, critics on, on your video for the, the penalty the other day on Twitter. <laughs> You can see the string. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't make the thing float. It's pretty. Yeah. Oh, Did someone actually that. say that they can you see the really string? On gave you grief, right? And then he gave me like, crayon, crayon instead, and, then, and I've got no idea how I can use crayon to make that work. Like, like how good are those? Like, by the way, Stephen, they yeah, are quality. Up. Like the amount of effort and individual. I'm assuming you do that. That's like individual photos, and you're stitching it together. Yeah. Yeah. That's, in, like, that's the effort, by the way. Fair play for you for doing that. Fair play for you for doing it. And if you can see the string, get over it. Do it yourself then, mate, if you're going to moan about it at the end of the day. I mean, sometimes, popular on Twitter. Like, sometimes. It's not, not too popular sometimes. when I spend half of date night taking a pair of scissors to a set of goals to do the Diana Ross penalty. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, like, here's another thing about social media, right? If you don't like something, just scroll past it. Yeah. Like for me, just yeah. scroll, like to get on there and criticize someone and just pick, nitpick something. I just think, why'd you bother, mate? Like, just scroll past it. If you think it, just scroll on. We don't need to be negative. We don't need this negativity. If you don't like something, don't say anything to it. Just ignore it. Move on. Get over it. It's just so, turned into Westwood Table Soccer motivation video now. I could do this all day. <laughs> I tangent. I tangent so much. So much. So hard to keep me on track. So I guess. You've then got to come down to picking one, an overall winner in each category. And then I guess we've got to try and pick an overall, like the best ball, which I, I kind of already feel like I know where it's going. So we'll start with the easy one. We'll do it again. Obviously, there's been a couple of votes for the same ball. So you can vote for a ball you picked if someone else picked it. But you can't vote for your ball if no one else picked it. If that makes sense. Like we did last week. Um, we'll go through just pure aesthetic, the sexy ball. Um, first I've asked obviously you guys know what mine is um and a lot of people have said it I just can't say the Alicante so my vote 100% is going on the orange tango so that's where I'm going for looks so I can't say Italian 90 no I'm sorry mate oh, so the same as I couldn't the same as I could yeah, yeah, yeah. And it hurts doesn't it it hurts so like it is. I like... feel gutted no, I'm not having it. Yeah. So like I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a ta- I'm not just gonna I'm not gonna go for any particular tango tango the range doesn't matter what okay. colour. Tango's a tango. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't go orange tango, so I'll go with the Alicante because that was my second choice. Mm-hmm. Okay, fair enough. I uh, will. I'll, I'll help you out here, Stu. I don't think the tango. I, I'll go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll go Italian lady. <laughs> well, I. It, I mean, he's got one, but in the end, it doesn't matter. The tango, like, like you say, any colour. Any of the colours, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, look at them now. Like even in this tiny little box, they look good, don't they? They, look they do up. look good. Can't go wrong. They do look good. They are. And the thing is, they're like, a, like you see them, you think, oh, that's a football. You know what it is, a hunt straight away. It's just one of them it balls. Is. Um, so playability. Now I'm glad you said FF by the way, Stu, because I can. Oh, so you can say it. Yeah, because you said it. <laughs> For me, like I say, it's 
I, it's what I grew up using. I, ne I used lightweight balls for like maybe my, my first few games until I managed to half inch a uh, little FF off me old man. Um, that's what I used to do. Steal my, I used to steal my dad's everything, by the way. Like I used to get, um, I had lightweight teams and he had this box of like spare heavyweight players. If he wasn't around, I'd like nick players to swap out when I'm playing. So like my centre forward would be a heavyweight. So he'd be heavier and play. I loved them. They're just always, for me, the best thing. So when I could nick a ball, I nicked it. So yeah, playability, I'm going with the FF. I can't, I've got to, I'm glad you picked it because it allowed me to pick it. I haven't got to lose that, get that knife in the heart on this one. So I'll, I'll follow you. You said it as well. You said set FF. Mm, I did. So I'll, I'll follow through, not because I've got experience with it, because I know if you're any good at Subutio, you'll be able to use that ball. And that's a proper ball. It's got set FF reference. That's an old reference. Mm -hmm. That's going back to like pre-continental, that is. Significant, historically significant, some would See? say. Wouldn't they, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I would also say that the, that the three-panel ball that you're talking about is not actually an FF. Is it it's not? A C1, it's a C144 oh. and it was introduced in the early 80s, so it's not even a heavyweight oh, ball. Oh, this! Whoa, whoa, this. whoa, yeah. Good yeah. I'm not having Scrap. that. Nah, nah, I'm not having that. <laughs> Thank you, the two, Stephen. The two panel balls oh, no. are FF, the three panels are actually C144. Stephen, I'm not the having Delta that. The Delta wins. The Oracle was spoken. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm, I'm voting for Stephen's Delta, which is the only one that is an actual contender because you just put in two fake balls, so Stephen wins. <laughs> So what's Stephen? What um, was you going for? I'm going to go yeah, for you didn't, Lawrence's. You didn't actually, you um, didn't actually write that. USA '94, um, simply because he seems to be the only one who knows what he's talking about here when it comes to actually playing. So <laughs> I'm going to trust his opinion. <laughs> Don't. Oh, frankly, your comments were irrelevant because the FF has won. So unlucky. <laughs> Two votes to one vote to one vote. Do so I feel like I've won this show? I feel like I've. I've well, so, done something for the heavyweight boys because I'm sorry, mate. That ball, that's not, that did not come out in the 80s. I'm not having it, mate. I'm going to research. I'm going to look deeper into this because yeah. this little bad boy. Hang on, I've got it here. An 80s ball. I made some notes earlier. It. I made some notes earlier. Set FF became, hang on, where is it? Set FF becomes C145, the 80 millimeter right. ball. When, when yes. did that happen, though? I don't know. Whenever they changed right. it to continental numbers. All right. around. 1980s, because they were used in the NASL indoor sets, the orange ones. Ah, oh, so maybe it's just come out of that set. I don't know where I've gone. For. I've got a couple of them. I've got two of them. So maybe they've come out of that indoor set with a blue... I think they were, sold, they were sold separately as well, I think. Oh, okay. Well, in any, in any case then, I'd still go with the, the FF, because the FF's a better ball. It's the same size. It's just a smaller so, ball. I still, I still have a couple more questions. I've got one okay. really good one. What's the smallest ball that Subutio ever produced? In millimetre size? In however you want to size it. Was, it. was it the rugby ball? That's a good shout, but... Oh, oh, I know. just, oh, I just ruined the quiz. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's a smaller cricket, one. The cricket ball would be smaller than that, wouldn't it? Hey, the cricket ball, yeah. yeah. Cricket ball. It's not that either. It could be, actually. I've not really checked. I should have done so some research we, before asking this are question. You being, so are you being clever and using a ball that isn't a Subutio football ball, or are you looking for the smallest... Hockey, hockey. Ball it's, a, it's a Subutio football ball. Oh. I don't know then, was it like 10 millimetre? I don't know what it would be, but it's got to be smaller than 18, because 18 is not going to be the answer. That seems too obvious. So yeah, I'm going to go 10 mil. I started mm. Googling it then and thought, I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm in Te suspense. I'm gonna, Technically, I'm it's the ball that stuck to the base of the kicking goalkeeper. Uh, See, I've got a couple that stuck to the hands. I've got throwing goalkeepers. You boys oh, got yeah. those. Well, those two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, where are they? But they're not they're really, that's not really a ball, is it? <laughs> Jeez. It's, it's a is, that is You are like that pub quiz master, right? That everyone's like, yeah, I've got this. Now we're on. It's definitely this. Definitely <laughs> well, this. And then the quiz master goes, actually, it's the ball that's moulded to the hand of the throwing goalkeeper. There's, there's a quiz question, which is, <laughs> which company produces the most tyres every year? Tyres? Yeah. And the answer's Lego. Oh. So, so I've spent a good part of this week Googling how many balls Subutio actually produced in the hope that they, they would produce more footballs than Adidas, but I don't think it's true. So I couldn't use that one. So as well. have you got an answer? How did you, have you, is there an, <laughs> a, a ballpark figure? There's so no. many questions in there. But the thing is, nobody like proper from Subutio is around to answer them, really. I know there's a few guys that used to, no. work, used to work for them, but 
I don't think I they know. It. I think they guess. It wasn't exactly an organised operation for a long time. But that, yeah, but it wasn't at its best when it wasn't. That's what made it what it when is. It, it was. When it was disorganised and there was just differences and variations. Like, loads of people are like, oh, I've seen a few things on the internet. Like, oh, what teams came on what basis? And it's like, there's no rules, mate. You can't do it. All of them. <laughs> Most of them, yeah. That Nine times out of ten, a ref five would be on white and sky or sky and white. But sometimes... <laughs> Well, on that, I've, you know them books I was using the other week in the first for, first episode mm-hmm. where the guy who's done them, he's doing a heavyweight version now. And I don't know how yeah, he's going to do it. Who, who is this, by the way? Because I need to get one of those. His name it's... is... I Put it in the description as well. Put it in the description as well. If he's got any left, the guy's name is Alessio Lippi and mm-hmm. Matty oh, I'm not even going to attempt it. <laughs> okay, I can't read That's that. Their name. Yeah. But he's going to do... They're doing a heavyweight version of that. I don't yeah. understand how they can do it because as you go through these, some of the versions of these are bits like that. That's the same kit with a subtle difference. Yeah. When it comes to the heavyweight, see, the base the combinations the are impossible. Yeah, the base combinations will be difficult. The kit variations, there's a few that are different, like mm. um, trim or no trim. Um, but the base combinations are Yeah, just, base combinations. The, the thing, the other issue you've got is people rebase stuff. I've yeah. seen it. I've done it. I've put different teams on different bases. If you can do it, it can be done. That's on lightweights. It's not. It's not as easy because the discs and the bases don't come apart as easy. But do you um, think someone could seriously get a photo of every heavyweight? Well, no, because no one truly rate. knows. No, especially now, no one exactly. truly knows if something is a hundred percent legit. Yeah, exactly. Even te- even the painting, because people have been touching up Sputio for decades and there are people out there as i've said before who are painting and brand spankers now and they look like they were made in the, well, the 70s thing is, it's easy to fake it, to yeah, it's, it's easy to fake sabutio because the painting was rubbish <laughs> yeah if you're not very good at painting <laughs> you can do it yeah. you could probably do it really well you know what I've i mean tried, right? I, have, clean house work. I have tried doing it i've tried but it's like i've got too much ocd my brain just goes you can't leave it you can't leave it like that you can't paint that on the shorts mate you and i end up just abandoning it because I'm you will have a there, meltdown <coughs> in my next video where I'll do a bit of painting. <laughs> there, is, there is somebody out there that's painting heavyweight teams to make them look really bad and selling them, you know, yeah. really? as new, brand new teams. Yeah, I've seen them. I've seen them. Be more was was yeah. going to make a joke then, but I'm not. I don't think it's the right place. You Should know, we bring these back to balls? Is. So I do think, <laughs> obviously, you guys have heard us throw some more shouts out there. I feel like there's not going to be a lot of deviation from the tango in the comments but if you have got another shout something we might have missed there could be something that we've completely glossed over it and obviously we want to find out about that euro 96 ball so if anyone has any concrete information and potentially new pictures or a a whole ball a whole ball would be incredible get that in the comments um and yeah and out and ariva if anyone knows who ariva were because that i never thought about it I never thought about who they were. I just thought it was just the name of a ball and that's just where it came from. I Googled it earlier and there's nothing on Google. Well, Google's what first year? page anyway. What year did it come out? Does anyone know what year it came out? It is early 80s. Early 80s, yeah. 81. So maybe we need to... Oh, there's got to be something. Peter Upton must know. Do you know what? He, he must still be alive. We need to get him on. We need to uh, get him what on. What a guest to him. have. We need to try and get him. So, Stephen, I don't know if he's dial-up internet. You... Would his dial-up internet work? <laughs> <laughs> Peter, if you're watching, that, don't mean to cause any offence. <laughs> we might have to just get him on the phone and just have a still image. You know, like back in the day on the like, like on the news, you did that yes. still picture of someone and the phone call behind it. We might have to have that. <laughs> I have met him though. I have met Peter Upton. Um, nice bloke. Yeah, he used to go to Sputio fairs with his mum. When we, there was one down in um, always down south though, he never came up to the northern ones. It was like I think it was I want to say Worthing. I think it was probably Worthing he went to. But yeah, like the Speed of the Club stuff, man. Like it was so good. There was so much cool stuff going on. It's such a shame that even the ones up in Renishaw aren't happening at the moment. Because they were like the last, the last. We used to have like six a year. They were so good. So good. And it's such a shame. I'm going to get to the next Renishaw one. I'm going to get to it. I've said. Do I'm it. Drive like, up. It's good. I'm going to drive up. It's usually, it's usually I like a I think a we need to come up with a... Um... I think we need to come up with a, a live Subutio show as part of our Subutio fair slash drinking night. <laughs> You're gonna have to. So, you, we might have to discuss this off camera because this has got. There's a lot of questions I've got. A lot of questions I've got. So what? 
<laughs> so what do you what do you mean <laughs> quickly what that's do you his mean? first question right so all successful podcasts go on tour at some point <laughs> we're successful so you have you have <laughs> two have, episodes in yes <laughs> <laughs> winning <laughs> so you have a tournament in the day with a fair everything for sale and then quiz live show in the evening how's okay. it in the brewery yeah yeah that, that would actually be awesome but, Put that it together. Stuart, are you paying my plate, Stuart? Uh, Maybe. Watsy might just have to be on video link. <laughs> oh, we can get him over. Oh, we'll whip you never know. We'll we'll whip you never know. we we'll get a sponsor. We'll get a sponsor on it. Arriva could be a travel company. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> could sponsor it. <laughs> we need to get, that would actually be amazing. That's actually a really good shout. That would actually be so good to do. So good to do. And the Let us know in the comments if you want to see us live. <laughs> We could do so many different things as well, couldn't we? Like, we have like painting stuff going on. We could have like you, like Stu, talking about collection stuff. Stephen talking about anything and everything because he literally knows everything and he's interviewed pretty much everyone. That would be really good, really, really good. And then, yeah, like a Sputo swap, like a fair during the day, little tournament. That would be awesome, actually. But yeah, I don't know how you're going to edit this, Stu, by the way. We've talked about. I'm so going to leave this in. I think this is great. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about so many different things. This might be the bonus episode number two. We're on. Now. I generally think that I'm going to say this now. I'm going to say if you've made it this far, leave a comment below. Let us know yeah. that you've watched all of this and not just skipped over in. it. And your comment needs to be. No, we need a, we need a word. Be. Comment. Sabutio they need to describe Sabutio show they, they need to tell us about the um, the Manchester United Sabutio ball, which we've not even mentioned yet. It's okay, the only yeah, ball that's got yeah, a club logo on. Okay. Yeah. So or you go, if, if you, you want, if you start, don't want to think, if you don't want to go looking for something, just write the undertones. Okay. If you've made it this far, write the undertones. No one so will know what you're on about. Far, if you have made it this far, which I will do, but I'm not going to comment it because I will, I will definitely listen to it on the pod. I will probably not watch it again, but I will definitely watch and listen to it on the pod. I can't wait. I'm excited to re-listen to it. But yeah, that's a really good idea, Stephen. Actually, I had no idea what you were talking about to start with. But actually, now you've you don't told have to it. Sound so surprised. Well, you, you're like the robot in the old corner there, mate. You don't move. Like, you're just the most <laughs> least animated person in this whole thing. What's the scarf, by the way? I, they, my legs are going like mad Colchester? under the table. Marine? Marine FC? Is that the ones that beat Colchester on the thingy? Future FA Cup winners, yeah. In the golden black calves, which, by the way, what a kit that is. Uh, well, I'm going to mention we've got two so-called UTO artists on call here today, and mm -hmm. not one of them has painted Marine. The, the real story of the FA Cup so far. So there's your challenge. Oh, boy, shocking. The, what I will say about it is, right, there are very few kits that contain gold as a main colour that work. This Last is the uh, this special older edition kit. It's, it's disgusting. But that one, it's not like, um, it's not too metallic. And I think that's why it works because it's not tried to make it like shiny gold. And with the black, oh, it does look good. It does look the, really good. The, using it they actually main usually play in they usually play in white and black. This is a 125 year sort of celebration kit. So is that what they do? The colours then, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah, I'm not going to so. say when, I'm not going to say how, but I will do it for Westwood Table Soccer Club at one point. I will put them in because I've had a lot of people say they want to see some non-league stuff coming in. Um, I've, I'm already set up to next month and January. And obviously I've got like months and months of this thing to do. But yeah, I will definitely... I'll remember them and I'll throw them in somewhere because yeah, that kit's cool. Oh. And if they've got if they've got some other cool kits, then yeah, we'll definitely put them in. Well, again, linking this back to Sputio, I'm sure you've all read this on my weekly newsletters that you all sign up what for you, and read every day. Yeah, sorry, um, maybe you haven't sent it to me because I haven't signed up for it. Um, sure, but I shared one a couple of weeks ago on um, a sort of story from the Sputio fact on the time the the sort of I'm going to ignore this the past history of Sputio, and um, it was a guy who used to work for them during the sort of 70s and 80s, I think it was. And he, he went on this sort of rant about how um, every time a non-league team or a lower league team had a bit of a cup run and knocked out, say, Manchester United, orders went absolutely crazy for that team. And they hated it because they had to keep up with demand. So, if, say, Watford knocked out United, suddenly they had to paint a load of yellow teams. And um, that's why there's you might find a team that you would think is quite rare, but is actually there's lots of them about it. It might be because they went on a cup run and... Through the That's room. mad, isn't it? See, I'd love to see as a heavyweight fan, like I'd love to be able to speak to someone who worked and understood that era. Because I'd love to know like 
like you say, how they made them decisions. Like you say, they might be a team that you think's rare, but because they did well in one game, they got a load of orders for them. And like, come on, like Bush of Auckland, doesn't it? Bush of Auckland, mm. that's not that rare. But it's a random side. Yeah, what is it, ref 33? Oh, this is all, um... I'm not sure. It's quite a low reference number as well, isn't it, when you mm. think about it? Yeah, yeah, I think it is 33. But the, this is a series of articles that they put together for the Tunbridge Wells Museum at some point. And somebody mm-hmm. on the Sputio forum posted all of the sort of stories, and it's lots of people who painted the teams and... And did that, so I'll share that after this. It's really interesting. Mm, yeah, it'll be here. Put yeah, that in definitely. the link. That'd be good. Because, yeah, that I think I read cool. it. I read it, Stephen. So, just thank you very much. much. Well done. I, I do. I do read your stuff, <laughs> Stephen. I will. I will agree to sign up for this, Stephen, if you answer my DMs. <laughs> oh, I've, been, yes. I've been DMing you for like two days, and you haven't got back to me. So, I will sign up. <laughs> if you answer my DM. Stephen, if you need to report him for molesting you via direct message, <laughs> I can point you in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need counter. to see the naked p- painting video. <laughs> sorry, sorry, yeah. That's, uh, Sliding into your DMs. I'm thinking, I'm thinking already when I'm going to have like a members only section and that's going to be oh, a, the naked, the naked painter. <laughs> only right, should we bring this, talking about nakedness, should we bring this back to balls somehow? Yeah, yeah. So, We've got our winner. We're saying We've Tango. We're saying Tango is the winner. Overall, I think we, have we need an win. overall. Yeah, we had, we had. Well, that's what I think we've <clears> got to say. The amount of suggestions that we've had for it, and we've all picked it essentially in one of our yeah. categories. So I think we, as a show, we've got to say that the Tango is the of all colours. By the way, like, it doesn't yeah. really matter doesn't which colour. Um, Obviously, there's different variations. As I said, the, the trefoil version is aesthetically better because it's rarer, I guess. That's the, the holy trefoil, grail of tangos, isn't it? That's the holy grail the trefoil, of tangos. The trefoil logo is just a better looking logo than this three stripes logo. Um, but yeah, so we're going to say that, I think, as a show. But if you guys, in the, in the comments, below, we've got a load of things we want to get from the comments this week. So get on it. We'd love to hear from you guys again. Let's see a little challenge if we can top 65. Let's see if we can get more than 65 comments yes. on this. And like I say, we will all endeavour to get on there and try and answer as many as possible um, of the comments as well, because we want to interact with you guys. You guys are part of the show. The whole, this whole idea of this is to get the community, it's the whole time building up a community and we guys can interact with you and talk about what you guys want to talk about. So we do need to come up with and confirm episode number three subject. I think we need to go with goals. We going goals? I'm happy with goals. Okay, and again, we, there's, again, the rules always state that it has to be Subutio manufactured. It can't be... Yep. I know there's a load of new goals out there that are really, really nice. But yeah, so Subutio manufactured goals. Okay, cool. I'm looking at them now that. thinking, like, what? Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> I already know what my, my best one's going to be. But what, set so ends. They're probably with... set ends. You're probably going to say set ends, aren't you? <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> we I'm all not. know it. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there. So again, are we going for... There's not playability wise, obviously, there is a difference in size to some of them. But are we just going with an overall numero uno? This is number one. There's not going to be any subcategories for this. Yeah, it's just got to be best goals. I think, yeah. so. I, I, think at the, I think at the end of this, we need to put together our dream Subutio game. So at the moment, we've got Sampdoria and Plymouth <laughs> at 40, 40, 54, yes. 54 yes. with an orange tango using certain mm. goals, accessories. Yes. And, we'll yes. oh, and actually, I like this. Oh, I don't build a have set. A if I had a Sampdoria, do you know what? I would get the game played if I've got the goals. Do you know what we should do, right? At the end of this, once we've decided the teams, I'm sure we'll do pitch. We should put this set mm-hmm. together, just yeah. one, just one, and we'll raffle it off for charity. Okay, what's so we're saying? We want a genuine 54. We've got to try and buy a 54. I bet you wish you all voted for QPR now. <laughs> yeah, I've got one. No, we could paint one. We could, we could just make... Let's put this set... Let's actually put together. Right. So we've got our teams. We've got our balls. Next week, we'll decide the goals. And then we're going to have... Eventually, we'll talk pitches, I'm sure. And other accessories. Let's build an actual set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah, at yeah, the yeah, end yeah. of it, we'll put one together and raffle just it off don't charity. A, just don't pick a really rare set of goals then. Because we've got... <laughs> 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 we, we'll, we'll put an asterisk we'll put an asterisk this is what we chose if we can find it yeah we'll get okay, it yeah, to you eventually idea. that's a really good idea oh yeah we raffle it off and we'll we'll donate the money somewhere to yeah, find definitely. a good cause and we'll donate all the money raised for it. maybe even I can paint the 54 Watsy can paint the Sampdoria because he yeah. paints a more modern style figure well, I'm sure at some point I'm sure at some point we're going to have the argument of best playing type aren't we well, best playing best what? 
Yeah, it's gonna probably. happen. Best. It's gonna happen. Heavyweight, lightweight, best, zombie, yeah, yeah, Hasbro, yeah. zombie. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be mentioned. The chunky. There's a lot of chunky. figures as well. There's a lot of variation. Yeah. That's another thing I'd love to. I like the the chunky figures. My dad's got a Uruguayan chunky figures. It looks weird. Weird. Get it. When we do weird. that, when we do that episode, you get I'll it. Try and get them. Get I'll it. Get it. I've got a couple in uh, a ref one, but not a whole team. Yeah, I try and get it off of him. Anyway, we should definitely end this, by the way. So, guys, again, if you've got this far, thank you so much for watching or listening if you are on a podcast. Get in the comments on the YouTube channel. Even if you've only listened to the podcast, come and find us, throw a comment. We want to hear from you guys um, because we love interacting with you. You can interact with us on our individual Twitter accounts, which will all be down in the description. We've all got all of our emails and things will be down there. Our channels are all down there as well. So, obviously, we just want to hear from you guys. We're looking to build this. You guys have been absolutely superb so far in getting in touch with us and helping make this an incredible channel already i think we've got over 300 maybe subscribers at the moment which is ridiculous for a channel that's got really one good. video on it so thank you so much for that i've got nothing else to say i don't know if you boys have got anything else to say if you want to just send a little parting message to the uh, to the viewing or listening public just thank you thank you we had a thousand views in our first video that's phenomenal 300 subs already thank you it's good it's really, really good to see. What's it? You, what's it? you just changed to your logo then, my friend. Yeah. How did, how did you do Sorry, that? Sorry, mate. Uh, my just plugged it himself. Uh, that was shameless. <laughs> that was absolutely <laughs> shameless. <laughs> advertising, man. <laughs> we don't know. That's been flashing up every three seconds through the whole video. We've only yeah. just noticed it now. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm a same as I'm a same as Stuart. Just thanks everybody for following and all your comments and um, watching the show. It's great. It's great to see great numbers. Mm. So keep keep liking and keep sharing and keep following. And thank you, everybody. Yes. I would like to add as well that I think if we're doing goals next week, people should um, film a little video of themselves telling us what their favourite goals are, and we'll play them at the start. Ah, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get involved. Or, or, yeah. or some trick shots if they want to show them. You know, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Stephen. Stephen's full of ideas. Do where, you know do, what? Where, where are they sending these? Do we need, have you got the email address? Stephen, you set up the email, didn't you? Probably, yes. See, I'm good yes, at the yeah, ideas. Well, we <laughs> have, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do have a designated um, Subutio Show email address. So that will be the first email address in the description. So, and in the comments. Yeah, that would be amazing, actually. If you guys want to do either send photos or video of you with them goals explaining why you like them yeah we'll put them in we'll put them into the yeah, video because that'd be a great way of getting you guys involved yeah Stephen, you've got some absolutely dying why do you leave it till we're recording till you give these ideas out by the way <laughs> catch us all off guard. i don't want to respond to your dm so i'm staying off twitter <laughs> <laughs> all right fair enough fair enough thank you very much for watching guys and then we'll wait till the next one where we see you guys in a couple of weeks time where we are talking goals see you guys later See you later. See you later.